in workplaces across America, women are inadvertently sabotaging ourselves. So how can we stop doing that and just be successful? Career and tech expert Kim McNicholas, who runs Billionaire Sir Richard Branson's global startup competition, is here with some advice. Good to see you again. Good to see you. So what is holding us back, women? How do we expect men to support women when women don't even support themselves? Do you realize that the number one career killer for women is jealousy? Oh my goodness, really? It's, it's crazy that women perform better actually competing against other women than they do performing and competing against other men. Which is, it seems just crazy to me because 70% of the workforce and technology are all men. And so what does that tell you? that we <laughs> sabotaging each other doesn't do anything for us. It doesn't get us ahead. So we're competing more against each other than right. against the men in the boardroom. So how do we fix that? Well, we basically have to start focusing on ourselves. And one way is let's do what men do in order to find success. And one thing is promoting themselves. Men never hold back in terms of sharing what they do, what they know with the entire world. Women sit back and they, nose, they just do nose to the grindstone and they hope to be acknowledged. They hope people will say, hey, great work you're doing. But no, women need to sit up, speak up, go out and you know, become a thought leader in their, in their area of study share their expertise, go on social media, share their insight, what they know, in order to build credibility. That sounds so familiar, that yes. working hard, doing everything you're supposed to do, <laughs> and waiting don't for Don't follow the rules. Right. <laughs> and, and then sometimes, I, I don't know if I'm like most women, but I'll go home and think about, oh, did this person take that wrong? And yes. did, I, did I say that the right way? We, we tend to ask. Guess. Yes, and we tend to ask for permission, and we tend to apologize. If you ever notice when you call someone and you get their voicemail, women tend to say, I'm so sorry, you know, I missed your call. Men don't apologize. You shouldn't apologize. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of sabotaging other women, I want to ask you really quickly because I know you have some connection to the Miss America competition. Right. We have Miss Colorado coming on to talk about uh, her, her, her monologue uh, talking about being a nurse for the talent. Right. And what's your take on that? Well, the one thing in terms of, you know, women in the Miss America program, I'm a certified Miss America judge. I just volunteer my time with them. And you're only competing against yourself. It's one of the most supportive groups of women. These women become friends for life. And so I, I think that if people realize just how supportive this group was and how brilliant these women were and how hard they worked and how talented they are, I think they'd have more respect for them. Okay, well, I'm glad you switched gears with me there for a second. Great advice on everything, Kim, and I hope you enjoyed your stay here. I in love Denver. it here. Terrific. Come back anytime. So now we'll go back to weather, and Kim has had a great.